Cosmic abysses, a glimpse into the unknown. Space is vast, it's filled with stars, planets, and galaxies, but it also holds mysteries, objects that defy our understanding. Black holes are among the most intriguing. These cosmic entities are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine a place where the laws of physics as we know them break down. That's the allure of a black hole. For centuries, black holes lived only in the realm of theoretical physics. Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted their existence, but it wasn't until much later that we had evidence. Now we know they are not science fiction, they are very real. These cosmic monsters lurk in the darkness, shaping the universe as we know it. Understanding black holes requires us to confront the limits of our knowledge. It's a journey into the heart of extreme physics where gravity reigns supreme. So, buckle up as we explore the birth of these cosmic giants. Stellar Demise, the genesis of cosmic monsters. Not all stars end their lives quietly. Massive stars, much larger than our own sun, are destined for a more dramatic fate. These stellar giants live fast and die young, culminating in a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. But the story doesn't end there. Inside a star there's a constant battle between gravity, pulling inward, and nuclear fusion, pushing outward. Fusion provides the energy to make stars shine, but as a massive star runs out of fuel, gravity gains the upper hand. The core, once a fiery furnace, begins to collapse under its own immense weight. This collapse happens incredibly fast. In a fraction of a second, the core implodes, triggering a shockwave that rips the star apart. This is the supernova, a cosmic light show visible across vast distances. What remains after this violent explosion depends on the mass of the core. Collapse and Crunch The singularity takes hold. If the core's mass is large enough, the collapse doesn't stop. Gravity continues to squeeze the core, compressing it further and further. Imagine all the matter of a star squeezed into an infinitesimally small point. This point, known as a singularity, is where our understanding of physics breaks down. At the singularity, density and gravity become infinite. Time and space as we know them cease to exist. It's a concept that boggles the mind, pushing the boundaries of our scientific models. The singularity is the heart of a black hole, a region hidden from our view. But the singularity itself isn't what makes a black hole so powerful. It's the region surrounding it, where gravity warps space-time to an extreme degree, that gives black holes their extraordinary properties. This region is known as the Event Horizon. Imagine a boundary in space, cross this boundary, and there's no turning back. This is the Event Horizon, the point of no return for anything that ventures too close to a black hole. Once you cross the event horizon, even light, the fastest thing in the universe cannot escape the black hole's gravitational pull. The event horizon is not a physical surface like the surface of a planet. It's a region where the curvature of space-time becomes so extreme that all paths lead inward, towards the singularity. Think of it as a waterfall, where the water flows over the edge. Once you're past the edge, there's no going back upstream. The size of the event horizon depends on the mass of the black hole. The more massive the black hole, the larger its event horizon. Some black holes have event horizons spanning billions of kilometers, dwarfing entire solar systems. Black holes are often depicted as cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking up everything in their path. While their gravity is indeed powerful, this depiction is not entirely accurate. Black holes don't suck in matter any more than a star of the same mass would. However, black holes are incredibly efficient eaters. As matter falls towards a black hole, it spirals inward, forming a swirling disk of gas and dust called an accretion disk. Friction within the accretion disk heats the material to extremely high temperatures causing it to emit intense radiation, including X-rays. This process of accretion is how black holes grow. By consuming matter from their surroundings, they gradually increase their mass and expand their event horizons. In a way, black holes are cosmic cannibals, devouring gas, dust, and even stars to sustain their growth. While stellar mass black holes are impressive, they are dwarfed by their bigger cousins, supermassive black holes. These behemoths, with masses millions or even billions of times greater than our sun, reside at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. The origin of supermassive black holes remains one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics. 
Did they form from the collapse of giant gas clouds in the early universe? Or did they grow gradually over billions of years, consuming stars and merging with other black holes? These cosmic giants play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies. Their immense gravity influences the orbits of stars and gas, shaping the structure of entire galaxies. Understanding their origins and behavior is essential for unraveling the complex history and future of our universe.